Lee Min Ho is an accomplished South Korean actor and singer, considered among the top Hallyu stars of the day. Although he aspired to be a professional footballer since childhood, an injury suffered during elementary school forced him to give up football and follow his father's dream into acting. Majoring in film and art from the Konkuk University and joining Starhouse Entertainment, he initially did several small roles in TV before landing up to his breakthrough role of Gu Junpyo in TV series Boys Over Flowers. The role not only earned him several awards including Best New Actor, TV, award at the 45th Beksang Arts Awards but also garnered him huge fame and popularity in Korea and several parts of Asia. The role proved to be a stepping stone to his burgeoning career that saw him performing in lead roles in several other series, most notably The Legend of the Blue Sea, City Hunter, and The Heirs. This South Korean heartthrob has also made a mark in big screen, screen with films like Bounty Hunters and Gangnam Blues. His musical pursuits include two albums, My Everything and Song For You. The success of Lee's television career established him as a top Hallyu star, he is the most followed South Korean actor on social media. Lee became the first Korean celebrity to have a wax figure made in his image at Madame Tussauds, with figures being unveiled in Shanghai in 2013 and Hong Kong in 2014. Childhood and Early Life Lee Minho was born on June 22, 1987, in Hyuksik Dong, Dong Jak Gu, Seoul in South Korea. Since childhood he aspired to become a professional footballer. His talent and energy saw him getting selected in the youth football class of South Korean football manager and former player, Cha Bum Kuan. However, after suffering an injury while in the fifth grade of elementary school, he was forced to change his mind. He then took interest in acting which took a serious shape while he was in second year of high school and by the time he was in his senior year he signed with Starhouse Entertainment. He attended Konkuk University and earned a BA degree majoring in film and art. Career His initial acting pursuits saw him striving to get a foothold in the show business performing trivial roles in several TV productions including in Romance, 2002, Nonstop 5, 2004, and Recipe of Love, 2005. Although at one point, as suggested by his agency, Lee started using stage name Lee Min, later he dropped it and used his original name. The role of Park Doo Hyun in the EBS series Secret Campus, 2006, marked his official debut role. That year he met with a severe car accident, which injured him severely, making him bedridden for several months. After recovery, Lee landed up, ended up with his first starring role of Cha Gong Chan in the SBS high school sitcom Mackerel Run, 2007. Although the series was slated for 24 episodes, the low viewership ratings forced it off air after eight episodes. Working on TV productions like I Am Sam, 2007, and Get Up, 2008, Lee forayed into films. He played Young Ha Yun in the sequel of Public Enemy, 2002, and Another Public Enemy, 2005, titled Public Enemy Returns starring Seoul kyung Gu and Young Jae Young. The film released on June 19, 2008. In 2008, he also featured as Oh Sang-hoon in the South Korean comedy drama flick Our School's E.T. that released on September 11th that year. Balancing between small and big screens, in 2009 Lee landed up with his breakthrough role of Gu Junpyo in the KBS romantic comedy drama TV series Boys Over, Over Flowers. The series was an adaptation of the famous Japanese shoujo manga series bearing same title. The immense popularity of Boys Over Flowers across South Korea added with remarkable performance by Lee brought him to limelight not only garnering him huge fame but also a number of awards and endorsement deals. His skyrocketing popularity resulted into the development of yet another Korean wave across Asia making him an emerging Hallyu star. He then played John Jean Ho starring opposite Sun Yi Jean in the romantic comedy drama TV series, Personal Taste, 2010. One of the most notable roles played by him was that of Lee Yoon Sung, the title character of the South Korean action drama TV series City Hunter, 2011, based on popular Japanese manga series by Tsukasa Hojo bearing same title. City Hunter not only garnered positive reviews from critics but also became a commercial success throughout Asia thus increasing Lee's popularity further, particularly in China. 
Philippines, Japan, and in some European countries. His brilliant performance in City Hunter fetched him several awards including Best Actor Award at the 4th Korean Drama Awards. He was also chosen as Hyundai Veloster's brand ambassador in China. The historical medical drama TV series, Faith, 2012, saw him playing lead role of Choi Young starring opposite Kim Hee Sun. Although the series was not a success, Lee's performance earned him accolades and several awards. A wax statue of Lee was unveiled in Shanghai's Madame Tussauds in April 2013. He next performed the starring role of Kim Tan in 2013 in the romantic drama teen series, The Heirs, also called The Inheritors. The series became a huge hit in South Korea as also across Asia with more than 1 billion hits on Aichi, an online video platform in China. Ayers earned him several SBS drama awards and also soared his popularity locally while upping his international fame, especially in China. On January 21, 2015, the South Korean noir action flick Gangnam Blues released starring Lee and Kin Rae Won. The film became a box office hit earning him kudos from both public and critics apart from fetching several awards. He then starred opposite Jun Ji Hyun in the 2016 fantasy romance drama TV series, The Legend of the Blue Sea. That year he also played the role of Yi San in the action comedy drama flick Bounty Hunters, a South Korean Chinese Hong Kong co-production. The film that released on July 1, 2016 in China grossed 31.1 million US dollars. Apart from acting, Lee also forayed into music and released two albums titled My Everything, 2013, and Song for You, 2014. He has featured in a few web series as well including Line Romance, 2014, and First Seven Kisses, 2016. His contribution and popularity as an actor has earned him several honors and recognitions. Such feats include becoming Honorary Ambassador of Love Net Campaign for UNICEF during 2009-2010, and winning the Prime Minister Award at the 5th Korean Popular Culture and Arts Award in 2014. The philanthropic side of the superstar saw him delving into charitable work including establishing the Promise website in 2014 to raise funds and awareness for charitable and social issues as also donating W100 million to UNICEF in 2015 in aiding Nepal earthquake victims. Lu has also emerged a social media sensation with 22.5 million fans on Weibo, 17 million fans on Facebook and over 3 million followers on Twitter. On May, on May 12, 2017 he commenced on his mandatory military service, however the leg injuries he suffered due to the 2006 accident restricts him from serving as an active duty soldier. 2019, present, comeback from military service and Hollywood debut. In 2019, Lee was cast in the SBS broadcast and Netflix distributed fantasy romance The King, Eternal Monarch written by the heir screenwriter Kim Un Suk. It was hailed as one of the most anticipated series of the first half of 2020, serving as Lee's comeback following his release from mandatory military service. The series set a record for SBS's highest 2020 Friday through Saturday drama premiere ratings and maintaining the number one spot on the weekly web drama chart for eight consecutive weeks, but received mixed reviews and lower-than-expected domestic TV viewership ratings on later episodes compared to previous works by Kim Un suk The King Eternal Monarch was listed as the most the most popular Korean drama on Netflix in India, Malaysia, Philippines and Singapore and one of the top two in the U.S. in 2020. In 2022, Lee made his Hollywood debut in a main role as Ko Hansu, a mysterious merchant, in the television series adaptation of Min Jin Lee's novel Pachinko. The series received positive reviews and extensive critical acclaim upon release. Lee's performance, particularly in the standalone episode of the series, Chapter 7, which centered around Lee's character, received critical acclaim, outlets such as Rolling Stone, The New York Times, and Collider included the episode in their list of best TV episodes of 2022. In August 2023, Hugo Boss launched a new collection, featuring Lee, Patrick Mahomes, Naomi Campbell, Matteo Berrettini, and Suki Waterhouse in its campaign. Personal Life and Legacy his older sister, Lee Yong-young, serves as CEO of MYM Entertainment, the Korean agency he is presently associated with. 
Lee had romantic relationship with South Korean actresses, Kim Hee Sun, and Park Min Young. He started dating South Korean singer, Bae Suzy in 2015. Public Image and Philanthropy Philanthropy In 2014, Lee set up the Promise website, a fundraising platform to raise awareness and encourage donation for social and humanitarian causes. Proceeds from the sale of Promise merchandise are given to selected partners which execute the charity projects. The site donated $50,000 to help create wells in Malawi through nonprofit organization Charity, Water, the sum was gathered by Lee and his fans. Promise has also raised funds and contributed donations to causes such as Good Neighbors, World Water Day, the Transparent Umbrella Project, and the Making Warm Winter for Beer for Both Bodies and Hearts campaign. In 2016, Promise won at the Korea Good Brand Awards. In 2015, Lee donated 100 million Korean wands to UNICEF to aid the victims of the devastating earthquake in Nepal. In 2016, Lee was recognized by the Ministry of Health and Welfare for his contribution to society. To mark the 10th anniversary of his debut, Lee's fans participated in several charitable events. Lee's Chinese fans planted 510 trees in Inner Mongolia, while his Mexican fans sold plastic bottle caps to recycling companies and donated the proceeds to children suffering from cancer. Taiwanese and Hong Kong made donations to World Vision and UNICEF. In previous years, his Chilean fan club donated to the humanitarian organization Patagonia Compassion and also participated in several other charitable causes. Media Influence As of October 2020, Lee has over 3 million followers on Twitter, 23 million followers on Weibo and was the first Korean celebrity to garner 20 million followers on both Instagram and Facebook. In 2014 and 2015, Lee topped the online poll organized by a Chinese entertainment magazine and was voted as the Asian male god. In 2017, Lee was chosen as the most favored Korean actor by fans of the Korean wave in the United States. With a combined total of 65 million followers, he is referred to as the king of social media.